my name is Anna and today's video is going to be our review on the new Physicians Formula Eye Booster Instant Lash Extension Kit. Um, this is new at the drugstores and it retails for about $15. I think it's one of the cheapest products out there right now that claim to give you lash extensions in a brush. Um, I believe several companies are coming out with their one with their own um, kits like this. Um, so I was just curious and I thought I would pick up this product. I got it for 15 bucks at CVS, but I got seven bucks back. So uh, definitely try to find this on some sort of sale. Uh, Physicians Formula is a little bit up there in price for drugstore, but it's not too bad. So let's open this thing first. This is gonna be first impressions. I haven't tried this kit before. I, I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, so this is a mascara, and these are the little fibers. Um, now, for reference, my lashes can't hold a curl if the mascara is not waterproof. I think it's if a mascara has water in it, it won't hold my curl. I have tried tons of mascaras that people rave about. Uh, high-end drugstore mascaras if they're not waterproof I wouldn't even why bother right so that's what I wasn't it wasn't I wasn't going to buy this kit because it was like well it doesn't matter the little fibers this is not gonna work for me but we'll, we'll see if you have that issue where your lashes tend to um, if your lashes tend to grow like this <laughs> like mine um, and you curl them and if you put a mascara that is no waterproof they kind of they kind of want to go back to their original position um, this might get, be a good review for you to see if this will work um, so yeah my lashes need waterproof mascara or I shouldn't even bother to put mascara on so I'm gonna zoom you in to do this entire process we're gonna do the steps we're gonna put mascara and then we're gonna put fibers and then mascara again um, and we're gonna, I believe we're gonna have some fallout, but we'll see how bad that is. And yeah, we're gonna do one eye and then compare and we'll see how that goes. But yep, let's try this. All right, so those are my lashes just curled. Um, yes, they're just curled, they have nothing on them. So we're gonna do the mascara. Um, I think this is the best way to do it so you can see the closest to my eye. So I'm gonna show you, now that we're so close, the little brush. There. So that is the brush. It is a little bit curved. And then this is what the fibers, ooh, those are little things, look like. Right there. Um. I'm scared that that will fall into my eye, honestly. Things like to get in my eyes all the time. So, okay, let's do this. Oh, I'm actually kind of scared. So, this. I'm gonna put mascara first. Now we're gonna put the fibers before this dries. They're like, can you see that? They're like little pieces of fur. All right, we're gonna go with mascara again. All right, so that is Ooh. one coat with one little lashes what do you think so I'm gonna put mascara on the other eye so we can compare with mascara pretty quickly and then we can put fibers in both and then we will build this to two layers which I don't I don't I don't think I'm gonna like all right so I'm gonna curl this again and then let's do it 
this is my squid mascara only this is mascara plus extensions so i'm gonna put these extensions before this thing dries so that is one coat each eye okay let's gonna we're gonna build this up okay ready hmm just put a little bit of mascara on yeah this is I feel this is pointless. Ugh. Ugh. I got into my nose. Oh gosh. Okay, we're gonna stop here because this is ridiculous. I don't like clumpy lashes. I'm gonna have to brush this. I don't like this look. We're gonna brush it a little bit. So I can survive with this. Yeah. Okay, so this is two. I put that thing two times. And this is one. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna match them now. And then we'll finish this crazy thing. So there it is. Um okay, let's get this. So I'm gonna zoom out slowly so you can see the fall. Actually, can you see the fallout in my nose? And in my face. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna zoom out. The first thought is those things fall everywhere. I powder my face, but they are sticking to everything that didn't. Oh my god. Yeah. They're sticking everywhere in my face and I can't get them off. So, first thing, use this before you put anything in your face or put something here so the fallout doesn't cling to your face because I hate that how it looks right in here. Okay. The second thing is so I'm very picky about my curl um and my lashes. My lashes can be can look pretty long if the curl holds pretty well. Um this is I think it did an okay job, especially this one I like a little bit less than this one. <laughs> but okay, let's say it did an okay job. My curl looks like, okay, those are my lashes and my curl looks like this right now. I like it way more up, like actually seeing a curve and I don't see that. I know. I feel like it's speaking right on camera, but I know my lashes and I know they can do better than that with the curl. Um, yeah. The extensions. Gosh, I think if anything, they give you volume rather than length. I mean, do you see length? No, they just give you volume. And it gives you a clumpy volume, which I don't like. I like I like fluffy lashes. I like lashes that look long and fluffy and separated and thin, but I'll, many of them. So pretty much like like a false lash. This looks I mean it doesn't look too bad. Oh my god, I think there's one in my eye. Okay, let's do this fast because there is something in my eye. <sighs> okay, if you have sensitive eyes, oh my goodness, don't do this. Um, I think that when I was going into trying this mascara, I was expecting something life-changing, like the packages that says you will get, and no. The, the, what happens is that your lashes are like this, right? And the fibers are little things between your lashes, like little, little, little pieces of things. So 
you do get a more voluminous effect, but you don't get liked. Like, you don't get liked. I didn't get liked. Especially because the mascara didn't hold my curl the way I liked it. Um, I wonder how this will work with waterproof mascara. <laughs> that sounds crazy, but um, I don't think I like the lashes, lashes, the fibrous effect. Um, I'm glad I tried. I really wanted to like this thing, but it's a no-go for me. I know I didn't apply tons of product. Um, I don't like clumpy anything. So this was, it felt like it will, it will get clumpy. I don't know. Uh, if I did it wrong, let me know. I don't know. This is the first time I try anything like this. Um, but yeah, I mean, I will wear this today. I don't think it looks dramatic. But again, if dramatic meant clumps and me putting more so it will get clumpy. I'd rather get a look like this. And as I said, I can get a look like this with other mascara. So I would not repurchase this again for myself, but I don't know, I mean, yes. And those things get everywhere, they really do. I don't know if you should tap them, the X's or something, but I mean, I guess that's the way it is, right? This alley is getting blind right now. So would I recommend this? No. Um, it might be something you want to try if you have very, very sparse lashes and you like a lot of volume and this might give you that. I didn't like it really. I'm more of a length and fluffy sort of lashes. Um, the more natural and long they can look, the better for me. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy looking at my eyes putting crazy stuff on my lashes <laughs> and that is it I will link this product in the description so you can find it um, and see how the price and things like that and yeah that is it and I will see you next time bye